All right, now look at the self test three. Okay, self test three. Uh, sorry, self test one. Okay, self test one. Table below shows the prices of three types of drinks in 2013 and 2015. Find the price relative for each food for 2015, taking 2013 as the base year. So, 2013 is P now. 2015 is the current period. So, this is PN. So, we want to find the price relative index okay, for each food. So, we need to find the price index for food A, food B, food C. Okay, so, we already have the price for each food for 2013 and 2015. Okay, so let. Okay, so. We will calculate for food A. So, the price relative for food A. Okay, price relative food A. So, so PN is 3 ringgit and 50 cent over PNAL is 3 ringgit times 100. Then you will get hundred sixteen point six seven. Okay, then you interpret. So this one is yang pertama. Okay, so interpret. There is. 16.67 increase in price of food A in 2015. Okay, in 2015. So that is how we interpret the index number. So every time you calculate the index number, so, you need to write the interpretation. Okay, and then we calculate the index number, the price relative index number for food B. Okay, food B. Okay, for food B. So, food B, the price is 7 ringgit and 80 cent in 2015. And in 2013 is... 4 ringgit multiply by 100 okay 7 ringgit 80 cent over 4 195 So, there is 95% increase in price of food B in 2015. Okay, I'm going to percentage. You need to put the percentage. So, there is 95% increase in price of food B in 2015. And then for food C, so the price relative index is calculated by 10 ringgit over 5 ringgit times 100. Then you're going to get 200. So, the index number is 200. It shows that there is 100% increase in price of food C in 2015. Okay, got it? So it means that when the index number is more than 100, okay, all of these three food, we can see that all is 
more than 100 is the index number. So when the index number is more than 100, it means that there is an increase in the price. Okay. So if you got the index number lower than 100, it means that there is a decrease in price in the current period. Okay. So yang ini semua kita dapat nilai indeks dia lebih daripada 100. Maksudnya semuanya, semua makanan-makanan ini mengalami peningkatan pada tahun 2015 berbanding pada tahun 2013 yang dijadikan uh, base year itu. Eh? Okay. So, uh, okay, yang kita bincangkan ni adalah price relative. Eh? Kemudian kita ada Uh, quantity relative So tengok dekat illustration 2 Okay Illustration 2 If the sales of basmati A Is 2500 kilogram in 2015 While its volume of sales Of uh, 3000 kg in 2016 Construct the quantity relative index Of basmati A for 2016 By taking 2015 As base year Okay So kat sini Okay Basmati A ni Kuantiti jualan dia adalah 2500 kg pada tahun 2015 Kemudian pada tahun 2016 Dia punya kuantiti jualan dia adalah 3000 kg Okay kat sini kuantiti ya, eh. Walaupun kg kita panggil kuantiti Kalau dia bagi harga itu kita panggil price Eh So kat sini kita nak kira quantity relative index number. Okay, yang mana uh, 2015 akan jadi QN lah. KS sorry, Q0. Okay, Q0. While 2016 will become QN. Okay. Sebab dia kata apa? Jadikan 2015 as a base year. Okay. 2015 ni kita punya base year. So, the, to calculate the quantity relative index number. So, quantity relative index number for basmati A. Quantity. Quantity relative index number is equal to QN over Q0 times 100. So, awak pun masuklah nilai dia. QN berapa? QN 3000 kg over Q0 is 2500 times 100. Okay. Kira. So, going to get 120 the quantity relative index. Okay. Quantity relative index that we get that we've got is 120 so what is the interpretation so the interpretation is there is 20% increase in sales of basmati a in 2016 Okay, jom kita tengok self-test 2. Okay, self-test 2 ni pun nak kira quantity index juga. Okay, so the table below give the number of water filters sold by company from 2012 to 2014. Calculate quantity relative index of sales for 2012 and 2014 taking 2013 as the base year. So sekarang kita nak kira quantity relative index untuk tahun 2012 dan juga 2014 dengan mengambil 2013 sebagai tahun asas kita. Okay. 2013 as the base year. So So ini akan jadi kita punya QN lah. QN So first kita nak kira relative uh, quantity relative untuk 2012 dulu. 
So 2012 Formula dia tadi QN over Q0 right So QN kita adalah 2012 So the quantity of water filter sold is 650 over So the base year is 2013 which is 800 So times 800 times 100 So you will get Eighty one point two five. Eighty one point two five. So it means that, okay, the interpretation, there is an increase. Uh, there is a there is. So if we look at this number, it is lower than hundred. That means we need to calculate hundred minus eighty one point two five. So we're going to get 18.75% okay, decrease. Okay. In the number of soul, in the number of water filters, soul in 2012 okay right now the quantity relative index for 2014 so for 2014 so 2014 the number of water filter sold is 1200 over <clears throat> the base year is 800 times 100. So we will get 150. So the index, uh, the quantity index number or the quantity relative index for 2014 is 150. So this is more than 100. That means there is there is 50% increase in the number of water filters sold in 2014 all right ni faham kan Senang je sebenarnya. Cuma awak kena faham sama ada nak cari quantity ataupun nak cari price relative. And then you need to identify the uh, base year and the current period. Uh, uh, the, the base period and the current period. Okay, once you identify, then you can substitute into the formula. Itu saja, eh.